I believe that um, practicing art um, opens up your mind. what it's going to look like I'm not entirely sure um, because with most of the work that I've done in the past um, I sort of um, I don't know if this is the right word but I sort of go with the flow so with some of the images I get I sketch them out I don't necessarily want to um, trace out or get the exact image off of a photograph that I find so therefore using freehand is something that I've um, that I've decided to sort of um, I've always used freehand in my work but uh, mostly in prints I find that sometimes when it's almost perfect that's where people appreciate it a lot more but then I do feel that because it's about me and it's quite personal, it has to be something that's quite freehand and quite emotional. So what you will expect to see in my work is sort of um, maybe a lot more expressive work and there'll be quite small prints because it's something that's quite close to me and I don't really want it to blow up into a massive print or a massive painting or anything. Um, so they're quite small prints and um, I suppose maybe just thinking in, in into the future, maybe how I would show them will be in chronological order. So. They are prints, but how I start them off is sort of like freehand because I use, um, um, my technique is dry point and um, I... Uh, I draw onto copper with a dry point needle so that's freehand really um, it's sort of like a pencil on paper um, so yeah um, I learned it at um, uni actually um, uh, I'd always uh, sort of um, scratched into plastic which was because it's a lot more affordable um, so that's what I use but then I then found that um, doing it on copper gives it a really nice feel to uh, to my prints but I learned that at, at university and um, it's something that is quite personal and quite intimate because um, it's sort of like an experience when I'm actually um, scratching into the plate um, so that's why I've, I found it quite um, quite fulfilling okay so I believe that um, practicing art um, opens up your mind um, you're constantly in search of answers and um, you want to know more and you want to say you want to help that person that doesn't have the ability to to, um, to say anything you want to give other people that don't have voices voices and um, how I would help myself successful when is when um, I can sort of give back what I've been given, give back the opportunity to express myself to other people that are not necessarily in positions that they can do so. So something that um, that is quite passionate that I'm quite passionate about is definitely. Um, having a studio of my own um, in Zimbabwe um, for printmaking. Uh, not that there aren't any things that are already happening there. Of course, there are a lot more creative things that are happening in Zimbabwe. But, but I do feel that you could never have enough of institutions that are willing to expand um, creativity. Um, have children from all different backgrounds come in one place and just open up their minds and um, 
and think about the things that people don't would not necessarily just come up to them and just tell them figure out themselves figure out who they are through um art um, because this is what i've been it's a privilege that i've been put in a position like this um well uh i would have loved to say i had a loan but i actually didn't have a loan i had to work for my for the money i had to work really and it's a passion of mine um i i do believe in anything anything can be quite costly um if you get into any field you have to buy books to study um you have to buy stationery and uh, that's like me when you buy a book instead of me buying a book to read sit down and read and study i will buy materials um it is pricey and um i do see why people would be quite discouraged but um when you know that it's a passion of yours um you will find a way <laughs> you know you will find a way you will work constantly so that you can just buy one plate of copper you know um in anything that you truly enjoy anything that you truly love and not that i'm saying that those people that decided not to do truly did not love it um it depends on the circumstance that you're um that you're on as well um and i believe i've been fortunate rather um apart from being passionate um i have been fortunate to um to have people that actually do support me